We were concerned of what it might be, and it exceeds even those horrors. The law is a brutal, sweeping crackdown against the people of Hong Kong intended to destroy the freedoms they were promised. Thanks to you to the committee for holding this hearing, which asks the question, is this the end of the one country, two systems? Beijing's so-called national security passed on the eve of the 23rd anniversary of the handover of Hong Kong from the UK to China signals the death of the one country, two systems principle. The purpose of this law is to frighten, intimidate, and suppress the people of Hong Kong who are peacefully demanding the freedoms they have long been owed. All freedom-loving people must come together to condemn the law, which accelerates Beijing's years-long assault on Hong Kong's political and economic freedoms. If we do not speak out for human rights and religious freedom in China, we use, lose all moral authority to speak out any place. If we're, our silence is because of commerce, we refuse to speak out on human rights in China because of commercial interest. We lose all moral authority to speak out for human rights any place in the world. Again, this is a battle between democracy and dictatorship, between liberty and tyranny, and between fr freedom and oppression, and it is a battle that the world must win. America stands with you, and America will always support you. Last year, when we heard you sing our national anthem, and when we saw you carrying our American flag, we knew, and we know, that you were telling us we are not two people, but one, both united in our belief in freedom and democracy for all. Today is this hearing today, we have this opportunity. American stands in solidarity with the freedom-loving people of Hong Kong and will continue to be a beacon of hope for all those fighting for democracy around the world. Uh, we have squandered months uh, without speaking out at the executive level. Hong Kong's been on the back burner in an effort to sell soybeans, and we haven't even sold the soybeans. Uh, President Trump uh, spent uh, January and February of this year praising Xi personally for how he handled the coronavirus. Now, he, you know, he has taken the exact opposite approach. Um, we need consistency in the White House, and we need a consistent uh, 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 adherence to our own standards of human rights. So we are, we need to unite now. Democrats, Republicans, we've done it before. We've got to do it with the president. And the world needs to unite against this pervasive human rights abuser, Xi Jinping, and this draconian law that they just put into effect. Thank you, Mr. Our partial freedom often made by the CCP will one day devolve into no freedom at all.